Are you serious? Look at this. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Do you know what she's doing? She's digging a burrow to make her nest, to have babies. She's gathering stuff up to go in the base of the nest. We've had them in the yard before, but not this close to the house. Is that not cool? <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's a female rabbit lining her nest. And not far from our patio. Look at that. I believe that's mama there, about middle of the screen. She ain't got a care in the world right now. But look at this, she uh, was busy camouflaging, putting some clover and stuff on top of the nest, kind of tidied up a pretty good bit around it. I need to mark this, because I've got the mow today. I'll mark it so I know in the future where it is. That is pretty awesome. All right, for simplicity, I just went ahead and put a, a small bucket beside of it just to remind me. And uh, I'll put something else there later. Maybe I got some little pink flags. You'll probably seen them in some of the garden videos over dad's. I may just stand a flag up right there and be less invasive for her. She may not appreciate the bucket, but it'll just be for a little while. She's still over here at the edge of the woods. Cleaning, probably preparing. You can see her belly. She has not pulled fur yet. She will pull fur and line the nest with it to give them a good cush and also expose her teats. That way uh, the babies will have something to latch on to. So we'll keep a check on her. We have a beautiful, beautiful cool morning here in North Carolina. We are just southeast of Charlotte. I was out here watering a garden and I was noticing too that what little weed pressure we have for our, I guess you would call it semi no-till garden. Now we have grass, we have weeds, but it's just very few, not like a traditional garden. We, uh, look at that big beef right there. We got lots of tomatoes coming on, lots of blooms. Plants are still growing well. We've gotten some squash, zucchini off the other day. This morning I was out here watering and I noticed on one of our tomato plants that we have a potential big problem. Do y'all see that? That's not good. I've looked for him. I believe it's a, a horned tomato worm. I have not seen him unless he's moved on to the next plant. So I'll just have to do better about looking for him. Or maybe a big old bird or crow or something's come by and, and helped us out and took him off the plant for us. They're usually on the underside of the leaves. And judging from the volume he's eating, he should be pretty good size. Shouldn't be too hard to find. I know I don't like messing with them. They'll get you, they'll sting you. Taking care of the chicken this morning. Try to wet their area just a little bit out here. They like the dust for dust bathing. But while I've got the water hose, I'll go ahead and, they love a puddle. See them over there in the puddle of all things. Anyways, I got the water filled up, plenty of feed, 
And I'm gonna step inside and check for eggs. Should have a bunch. I got one hole that I have blocked off because it's hard for us to get to it. I don't see anything in the corner. Aha! Uh -huh. Bingo. All right. Uh, something tells me somebody didn't gather eggs yesterday. All right, well, we'll, we'll get these up right quick and take them to the house. Do y'all see what that is? This here, that. That's an eggshell, a chicken egg. Do you know where it come from? Our downspout. That goes to the roof of the house. My neighbor next door has chickens also. His coop is not enclosed. See the pie pans on the door opening? It's to keep crows out. But apparently it's not working just real well. He said the crows are coming in and grabbing the eggs. He says he watched them do it. So what they're doing is they're getting the eggs and taking them somewhere and dropping them so that they can open them up or peck them, peck a hole in them. And I'm guessing our wide open roof line gutter or something is a uh, is the good place to do that. I saw that when I was mowing the other day. That's crazy. You never know what you'll find here. Cleaned on the old Polaris Ranger yesterday a little bit. Cleans up pretty good. Here, chicken on panda. Got her a few tomato scraps. Hey, sweetheart. Tomato scraps, a couple of cucumber slices, and lettuce. She's not too interested. But I'm gonna peel a banana. I'll stick a banana in there, and I bet she'll go for that. All right, I went ahead and peeled it. I don't think they care for the peelings, but y'all know the excitement of a sweet banana. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come over here, baby. There you go. There you go. It's good stuff, ain't it? Huh? Yeah, we all like a sweet dessert. Especially first thing in the morning. Looks like a female cardinal. Small little puddle of water there. <laughs> She's getting it done. Look here what somebody decided to try to do today. On oh, big buddy, buddy boy. Yes. He's not very happy either. Uh, I can imagine he ain't been rodent. A long years. time, yeah, several, several years. Now put your heels in him. This here's the third little rat trap that we've seen this year. Two of them have been here and one of them at our house. This is not the same one I saw here at where we keep the horses the first go round. It was huge. This one here is probably a little over three foot long. Pretty little rat trap. We leave them alone, let them do their thing. They're not bothering us, we're not bothering them. I think they're doing a good thing. I think he's enjoying the sunshine also. Pulling a few squash this morning. 
Yes, we are. We're pulling a few squash. They're uh, they're growing quick. I can tell too. I believe the uh, the squash vine borer beetle, I believe is what it's called, is already affecting some of the plants. So I'm not sure what kind of yield we'll get from here on out. But you can tell they're you can tell where he's been drilling. They've been drilling in the uh, in the vines where it meets the soil. Everything's looking good though. Lots of blooms. The cantaloupe have gone crazy blooming. The corn's looking good. Popcorn. I need to um, I need to fertilize it, as Daddy would call or say. Need to put some sodium on it. Get that handled.